welcome back ladies and gentlemen so today we are looking at really nasty thing what happens if you corner it i mean as you can see there is some not nice drop if you go down you're not gonna end up well unless you do some parkour and you can jump on that lump and just get out of the situation but uh, we're gonna have a look at what happens if you get cornered So this is one of very typical scenarios. I think some of you might actually re relate to this because you might have experienced this. It's, it's the usual situation. The attacker wants to get you in a corner, get your phone, get your money, whatever. Um, as we always say, give them what they want and come out of the situation. If you have no other choice and you know you would get hurt or you have to protect someone, we, we're gonna look at the scenarios, what you can do from here. All right, so this is the typical thing. Someone is holding you in here. <laughs> And what you want to do, they're actually pushing you against. So what you want to do, you want to create a bit of a space, which is, you know, you have the luxury in here. So you move back slightly a bit. And this goes here. And you get them in a nice hiji shimmy in here. Okay? It has to be very fast movement. It's not going to work if you do it slowly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Again, the same thing. But what you're doing here, you're just aiming for nice sankyo. So you just, you... You start moving, make sure that you create a space in here. This is the worst thing that you can be in. You're going for Sankyo and he locks you in a headlock, okay? So you need to create more space in there. So you just go here, this goes up. And you've got nice Sankyo in here, okay? And you can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so third thing is we're using the invisible knife in here, but it will be a real life, <laughs> real life threatening situation for you. Hopefully not, but okay. He's got a knife or some, any sort of weapon and stuff like that. So what you want to do, you want to get out of the corner. So what I would do is I would just connect with it. So I would just tilt my booty a little bit and then connect with the hand while moving forward, keeping the contact on the hand and then just keep going there. So there's no danger for me to actually get cut again. The last thing I want to do is do a big circle and then <laughs> get it anyway and end up in the corner. So, so right, so, so we get there and it's just right, moving forward. All right, when it gets cornered, don't panic. Start breathing, bring yourself back together and do what you're trained to do. I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you next week.